Let's talk about slope fields. Slope fields are just a tool for sketching a curve based on something that tells you what dy over dx equals. By the way, when we say dy over dx equals something, we call this a differential equation. Because uh, basically we're saying the derivative equals like some formula or other, right? So here we've made it really simple. Simple. We've said dy over dx equals x. And I'm going to show you how we can use that information to sketch a few possible curves. Now remember, because of the plus c's and whatnot, there's not just one answer here. There's going to be multiple answers. I'm going to show you how we use a slope field. So let's start with this point over here. Over here, the slope is, go the x-coordinate is 0, so the slope is also 0. So I just draw a tiny little horizontal piece. Slope here is also 0. Slope here is also 0. Slope here is also 0, right? Now over here, x equals 1, so the slope here is like a tiny, I'm going to draw a tiny bit of a slope that's 1. Cool? Slope is 1. Slope is 1. Slope is 1. Now let's say here x equals 2. Now the slope is a little steeper. It's 2. The slope here is 2. The slope here is 2. The slope here is 2, etc., etc. And we can kind of go with, with this. You can go to the negative side over here. This is maybe negative 1. So here the slope might be negative 1. Like that. And this is just, again, just a tool for sketching uh, curves. Now we have these slope fields. Now here the slope is negative 2, so it's like a little bit steeper. Remember, the slope is just going to be equivalent to the x-coordinate. Now here, now one of the things you'll often be asked to do is to find a particular solution. That's really easy. We just pick any starting point, say this point, and we just kind of, kind of follow along the curve. You see we're just following along the directions that are given by the, uh, by the slope field. Or we might start out over here. You might make this your starting point. And again, you'll end up with something uh, sort of similar. You might make this your starting point, and you just kind of follow along the guiding direction given by these tiny little bits of slope. So that's how you do a slope field, and let's go ahead and practice.